Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. I'm not sure if you guys have heard about this story. It's been floating around for a few days, but I've seen nobody covering it at all. So I figured, let me go ahead and cover this for y'all. Among the stars, ashes of James Duhon, Scotty, from Star Trek, is hidden on the International Space Station right now, as we speak. Actor James Duhon's family is celebrating after keeping a major secret for the past 12 years. The late Duhon, who famously portrayed Chief Engineer Montgomery Scotty, Scott, yeah, I love fucking Scott. He was he was a fucking awesome man. James Duhon, boy, 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 class act. On the original TV series Star Trek, had his ashes smuggled aboard the International Space Station where they finally float in space today. I have been keeping a secret for over 12 years. Chris Duhon, one of the sons of the Star Trek actor, wrote on Twitter, adding a link to a December 25th article from the Times of London that revealed the secret. The Starship Enterprise engineer has traveled nearly 1.7 billion miles through space, orbiting Earth more than 7,000 times after his ashes were hidden secretly on the ISS. Oh, Scotty. <laughs> you were awesome, man. Duhan died 2005 at the age of 85 and always had dreamed of resting among the stars. My dad had three passions, space, science, and trains. He always wanted to go into space, Chris Duhan told the Times. Richard Garriott, an entrepreneur and one of the first private citizens in space, says he smuggled James Duhan's ashes onto the ISS in 2008 during a 12-day mission as a private astronaut in a plot concocted by Chris Duhon. The caper entailed printing three cards with a Duhon photograph and laminating each with a sprinkling of ashes sealed inside, hidden inside, his flight data file. Everything that officially goes on board is logged, inspected, and bagged. There's a process, but there's no time to put it through that process, Gary had told the Times. One of the three cards is framed on the wall of Duhan's California home, which Duhan tweeted Saturday. Here is the laminated card that Richard Garrier gave me, hashtag Star Trek, at NASA JPL, hashtag NASA. Okay, wow. James Montgomery Duhan. Gary had floated another into space. The third is under the clattering on the floor of the space station's Columbus module where he hid it in 2008. As far as I know, no one else has ever seen it there and no one has ever moved it, Gary had said. James Duhon got his resting place among the stars. Hmm. Man, that's awesome. Chris Duhon, an actor who played Scotty in the web series Star Trek Continues. I thought I knew. I thought I knew who he was. Okay. Okay. That's with Vic Mignogna. And Chris Duhon played Scotty. Which, you know, he has, you know, his dad's accent and the whole thing. Yeah, that's... I, I knew that's where... Uh, I've even watched the show, so I knew who he was. But I didn't... You know, he has many sons. I didn't know that was that actual son. All right. It makes sense. He tells USA Today over email that he is thrilled to finally tell the story. I never knew when or if I would be able to ever say anything, he said. I visit fan conventions all around the world for years now, and I've been holding on to the secret for 12 years. It was hard not sharing this with fans. I now have a great sense of relief that I can talk about this and sharing this amazing story as I continue my father's legacy. NASA declined to comment on the story since Garriott was a space flight participant with the Russian Space Agency, Roscosmos. Hmm. The NASA statement to USA Today did address the wide interest in the story of Duhon's ashes. NASA has a long cultural connection with Star Trek and can appreciate the interest fans around the world have in this story. Wow. Yep. And there you go. Now, 
we get to figure out that um, James Duhon, Montgomery Scott, is actually, he's, he's actually up in the stars. And, you know, he's gone where no man has gone before. So, tip my hats off to uh, Chris Duhon and that dude Gary at NASA and, you know, everybody else that was involved in granting him his final, his final wish. You know, I love Star Trek and, uh, you know, it has a certain place in my heart the way Star Wars does. Man, two great franchises. You know, it's hard to see where it's at now. But at least, at least we have Star Trek. Star Trek continues. We have the next generation. You know, of course, we have Deep Space Nine. We have Voyager. Man, and we, and we have Enterprise. So thank God for that. And, um, you know, with Star Wars, thank God we have the prequels and we have the original trilogy along with everything in the EU. So, much props to uh, Chris Duhon. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Please share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy, 24-7 with 24-7 Fusion Media. And I'm out. Peace.